and gotten dark. Apologize for the lighting in here. Um, it's gotten dark. I'm back in my son's room and the feature wall that we were putting in today is a brick wall. As you can see, we're going to paint it. I thought I had like half a gallon of this color paint. Turns out I did not. So I'm going to have to go get another gallon of paint tomorrow, but we did get most of the brick up. We went to Home Depot and they only had two sheets of, this is like an, um, it's like an MDF brick. Um, but they only had two sheets of it and I need just a sliver more. So I'll have to go to another Home Depot maybe tomorrow and see if they have another sheet that I can use. And then um, you can see there's a seam there in the middle. So I'm just filling that with a little bit of uh, filler and waiting to sand that down and hopefully make it somewhat invisible. And then we'll be ready to, to start putting the room together. The other wall is not nearly as disruptive. It's just... Um, some trim work and some lights and stuff. So I do have all that stuff, but again, I need the same paint. So that will have to wait another day. But I'm really, really happy with how far we got with this today. And I think I should be able to paint this wall tomorrow, get all that other stuff up and at least move him back in. And then I just have, just I'll show you here. I just have a little tiny bit right there. That's how much more of this brick that I needed. So. I'm hoping to find a sheet of this maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Um, I think I'm gonna maybe bring packages to the post office tomorrow. So we might stop by a different Home Depot and see if they should have it there. And then I'm hoping to go get a miter saw. Uh, but they have been really hard to come by. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned, but my husband was gonna buy me one for my birthday. My birthday's in June, um, but they have just been out of stock at our Home Depot. But I did notice that our the Lowe's that are somewhat local to us, they have them in stock. So next time we're driving by, I think I'm gonna swing in and get a miter saw because I will need that for a few of the other projects that I have coming up. But right now, finish the paint, finish the trim, and then my second oldest is going to be putting together the bed for this room. And then we surprised our two little guys and got them a new mattress too. So they've moved up from their little boy beds to big queen size beds. So now I gotta go find bed frames for those. <laughs> Anyways, that's where I'm at today. I'm gonna get cleaned up and then I think I'm gonna dig out my knitting and start some dinner. December 9th, pretty sure it's December 9th. Um, we just got back from walking the kids to school. Uh, we woke up this morning and it's a winter wonderland out there. We had quite a bit of snow overnight. Um, so that's kind of changed my plans for today. I think instead of driving to the post office where I drop off parcels, it takes about just over half an hour to get there. Um, I think we're just going to hang tight and I'm going to rescan the December Club instead and hopefully take the packages tomorrow or Friday. Um, I just find on the first real snow day, nobody remembers how to drive and on the short walk we had to school we were listening to sirens the whole time so I think, you know what, we'll just stay home and get some of that work done instead. Um, and then I'm hoping to at some point today to get a few moments to sit down with a new book. Um, I have been lucky enough to be chosen as an advanced reader for a new book that's coming out. It's called Snowed In By You, or Snowed In With You, and it's by Sophie Lee Robbins. I'm really excited to to dig into that book and, um, and see what it's all about. This is a new to me author. Um, during quarantine, I have, or this whole situation. <laughs> I have read quite a few new books and I fell into a bookstagram rabbit hole and there was one book um, or one account, she just reviews books and uh, she posted this one, um, it's a rom-com and uh, the cover sold me so I bought the book and I think within like, I was not even chapter in, I'd already bought the second book by the same author and that's the author that introduced me to the author for whom I'm reading the advanced copy. 
So I'm really, really excited to read that. So I hope I get a little bit of time to do that today. Um, I do still think we'll make it down to the paint shop to get the can of paint that I need to finish painting the brick wall in my son's room. Um, we probably won't make it to Home Depot to get the last sheet of the brick that I needed, but that's fine. If I get that, what well, we've already put up painted, then we can assemble his bed and he can slowly start to move back into his room. So that will be good because actually I don't think that he minds staying in, in the guest room because it's on the lower level, it's away from everybody else. Um, so it's probably nice and quiet down there for him. But I would like him back up on the, on the level with everybody else. Um, so I'm hoping to get that done today. And um, yeah, the house is a mess. Um, we, the boys rearranged the furniture in the living room every single night that we had movie nights. And <laughs> I was still lazy to put the chair back where it goes. So I'm sort of sitting right in the middle of our living room, which is kind of silly, but um, we've got mattresses all over our front, front hall um, because the little boys' rooms were not quite ready to actually get the beds put in them. I'm still waiting for the bed frames to come and they, I don't think they'll be here for another week. So I've got to disassemble their current beds and then we'll probably just let them sleep on the mattress on the floor until the bed frame gets here next week, but that'll be okay. Um, but they'll be excited to have big boy beds just like their brothers. It had been a bit of a tradition in our household that you got your, your big bed for your uh, ninth birthday. And our second youngest will be nine this coming year. So the youngest got his a couple years early. Um, but I think they'll enjoy having those. And then I promised the kids that I would bake them pigs in a blanket. Um, they were just saying their lunches for school were so boring. So <laughs> they asked if I would make pigs in a blanket so that they could bring those to school. So I've got to get the dough thrown together for that and set that to rise and bake them off this afternoon. So I have a few plans, even though um, the snow sort of changed everything on us. And um, I'm just going to sit inside and enjoy the fact that I don't have to go out. I don't have to um, travel or drive in it because that is my least favorite thing with snow is driving in it. And uh, particularly, I get very nervous about the other drivers <laughs> because some people drive in snow as if it's like a perfectly clear day and they don't account that the roads are slippery and that's scary. But anyways, I will leave you with that. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. This this coffee is brought to you by Virginia. Um, and then I'm going to get to reskating yarn and I'm hoping to put some new polish on these nails because it's overdue. So I'll check in with you later. <music> Hi friends, it is almost 5.30, 6 o'clock, and today did not go as planned. Um, the first wrench in my plan was snow, which meant I wasn't going to the post office. Um, I had planned on painting that last wall in my son's room, and um, when I went down to the paint store, they're closed on Wednesdays, so no paint. <laughs> Um, but we did go and pick up some lunch at the local deli and had a nice lunch. And um, then this morning, uh, I was waiting for my husband to help me reskin some yarn. And while I was waiting, I decided to start taking off my old nail polish. And then I remembered that today there was a knit or a stitch and chat with um, Joanna from Stitching the High Notes. So I logged onto that Zoom and had a fun hour with those ladies, um, just laughing and sharing stories and, and having a good time. So I sort of just went completely off plan, but that's okay. Um, after lunch, we came back home and um, we did get some of the club reskained. So I'm still hoping to get that shipped out before the weekend. And when I ship that out, I will take all the other orders with me. And um, then tonight, one of my little guys has an activity, so I gotta take him out for, for that. Um, my two oldest have outgrown their boots, so I need to take them to another store. I picked them up after school. They sent me a text, and I was like, Mom, the bus is really slow, can you pick us up? Like, sure, and then we went to look for boots, but that one store was already sold out. Um, I guess they're having some supply issues because a lot of manufacturing areas were shut down, so they don't have the same, um, 
inventory. So we're going to try another shop tonight and see if we can find them a pair of boots. But I've got dinner cooking and uh, my husband has tag team me uh, helping the little guy clean up his room because we've taken apart their old beds and we're just trying to make room for their new mattresses to grow up. So I did put it up in our second youngest room. Uh, so he's ready. And then the youngest, we're just getting his room tidied up and purge some of his toys to make room for his mattress. Um, so hopefully we'll get that done here before dinner. And um, I brought over my Advents and I realized I forgot to open my Suburban Stitcher Advent again, again yesterday. So I'm gonna open number eight first. Let's see here. This is a more multicolor. There's still a little bit of pink in there, but there's definitely some greens and some blues. So the color's not reading quite true here, but it's very pretty. And then today's mini. It's quite similar. It's got more yellows in it. Hold them beside each other. Eight and nine. So we're making some headway here. So anyways, I didn't get half of what I planned on today, but that's okay. Paint store is open tomorrow. I'll get the paint tomorrow and we'll finish rescaining the club. If we don't finish today, I will get those orders packed and or wrapped and packed and uh, hopefully out, hopefully tomorrow afternoon, but it might be Friday morning. We'll see. And then I didn't get to baking because again, I, I got distracted by the Zoom call and the yummy food, but that's okay. Um, I'll do that again tomorrow. It's yeast dough, so it's got to rise. So I do need to at least let it rise for a little bit before. So it needs a little bit of planning. But anyways, that was today. I'll see if I can grab a little bit of footage of our, of our winter wonderland all over snow when I'm taking our little guy out. It is pitch black here, so it might be kind of hard to see, but I'll, I'll see. And um, I hope to take you guys along when we go and look at Christmas lights one of these days. I don't know if we'll go this week or next week, but we're definitely not going on the weekend. Um, there is a neighborhood close by and they really, really do it up around Christmas. And um, that neighborhood turns into like a one way um, around Christmas because otherwise it just, it turns into a log jam. Uh, but it is really backed up and, and usually right leading up to Christmas, it takes forever to get through there. Like you have to go to the bathroom before you can go because otherwise, well, let's just say you go before you, before you leave. All right. So I'm going to finish our dinner and, um, I'm not sure if I'll check in again later tonight, but we'll see what we get up to.